For the last 18 years, Alia Rosenberg has been traveling some of the world's most remote areas. His mission, as he sees it, the commemorate, to commemorate his son who was killed in a military aviation accident. I-24 News correspondent Uri Shapira brings us his moving story. Ari Rosenberg will never forget the night of February 4, 1997. While traveling with his wife in Argentina, he found out that his son Shacha was killed in the biggest military aviation disaster in Israel's history, which saw two military helicopters crash in northern Israel while on their way to Lebanon, leaving 73 soldiers dead. Like many other parents who lost their sons, Ari's first reaction was one of shock and despair. When you receive the first news of the death of your son, you find yourself free-falling into a deep hole of depression. You lose the will to live. You constantly blame yourself for not protecting your child. And you must find a way to climb out of this hole. From this agonizing low point, Rosenberg took commemorating his son to a different level. In one of his letters, Shachar had expressed a desire to see his parents carry on his legacy in case he died in the line of duty by traveling to the places he wanted to go. Arya took up the challenge. My first purpose was to see through his eyes, to smell through his nose, to taste through his mouth. Another purpose was to honor his memory. Young Israelis tend to go on a long trip after the military service. And every time I returned from a trip, I wrote a book about my journey. I know that many young people love them. For more than 18 years, he has traveled the world to the most deserted places. Sometimes this journey took him to places he couldn't even imagine. I was on the border between Mexico and Guatemala, and there was heavy rain. I was staring at the sky, looking for a sign of my son. Suddenly, God answered my prayer, and I saw two images in the sky. One of my son, Shacha, the other of my cousin. But before I could say Jack Robinson, the image of Shacha disappeared. I turned to God and asked him, why? Why did you take him from me? While Aya is not getting any younger, he continues to travel. Sometimes what seems like the end of the road is really the beginning of a new journey.